Section seven of Amoretti by Edmund Spencer. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Leonard Wilson. Sonnets nineteen, twenty, and twenty one. Sonnet nineteen. The merry cuckoo, messenger of spring, his trumpet shrill hath thrice already sounded, that warns all lovers wait upon their king, who now is coming forth with garland crowned. With noise whereof the choir of birds resounded their anthem sweet, devised of love's praise, that all the woods their echoes back rebounded, as if they knew the meaning of their lays but amongst them all which did love's honour raise no word was heard of her that most it ought but she his precept proudly disobeys and doth his idle message set at naught therefore o love unless she turn to thee ere cuckoo end let her a rebel be sonnet twenty in vain i seek and sue to her for grace and do mine humbled heart before her poor the whiles her foot she in my neck doth place and tread my life down in the lowly floor and yet the lion that is lord of power and reigneth over every beast in field in his most pride disdaineth to devour the silly lamb that to his might doth yield but she, more cruel and more savage wild than either lion or lioness, shames not to be with guiltless blood defiled, but taketh glory in her cruelness. Fairer than fairest, let none ever say that ye were blooded in a yielded prey. Sonnet 21 Was it the work of nature or of art? which tempered so the feature of her face that pride and meekness mixed by equal part do both appear to adorn her beauty's grace for with mild pleasance which doth pride displace she to her love doth lookers eyes allure and with stern countenance back again doth chase their looser looks that stir up lusts impure with such strange terms her eyes she doth endure that with one look she doth my life dismay and with another doth it straight recure her smile me draws her frown me drives away thus doth she train and teach me with her looks such art of eyes i never read in books end of section seven of Amoretti by Edmund Spencer. Recording by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio.